That's the house. All right, this is it. There's no turning back. All right. So, I think we should do it. Let's do it. Let's go. This is crazy, man. You guys wait here in the shade. I'll knock on the door. How you feeling? I'm feeling like, this is like so weird, bro. This is like killing me right now, like for real. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. I'm gonna stick my head in for a second. What's he doing? I'm sure you must be pretty nervous. I just nervous. didn't know that he was staying right there. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like easy. Just... I'm assuming you're in Rosa. Yep. This is like so weird, bro. Just be yourself, be honest. Say whatever it is that you feel comfortable saying. Okay? I'm ready. Okay. Oh my god, bro. Say something. No, I can I'll I'll start the conversation. <laughs> This is Jose. As I understand, Jose has been Rosa. Yep. This is just crazy, man. I, what are you doing, man? I, mean, I didn't mean for this to happen like this. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, bro? I am ashamed of myself. Yeah. I am, and I'm not gonna lie. What is this, man? Why would you do something like that? I never meant, you know, I never meant to hurt nobody else. I was trying to hurt the person in the picture girl in the picture? Why, do you know her? Uh, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> so you know Natalie? I went to school with her. In, in Florida. Florida? I was trying to get her to feel the pain that I felt. I used to be bullied in school, you know, by her and obviously a group of other people. So you created the account to, to take revenge on her? Basically, yeah. You made that account in high school? I was in high school. I was in ninth grade. And how old are you now? No, I'm 26 now. That I'm was a long time ago. ago. That was a long time ago. Whatever you have against this girl, bro, what does that have to do with me? You don't play with people like that. You don't, you don't do that to people. I'm over here making plans. I'm like all into this girl. What, what were you actually planning on getting out of this? Eventually, we're going to find out the truth. You know, this is just crazy, man. It's embarrassing, actually. You know? It is embarrassing. You know, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I am. You need some help. You need to go to church. You need to get involved. You need to speak to someone. You can't just lock yourself in there and, and, and make believe you're a woman. If you like men, holla at a, at a, at a dude that likes men. As simple as I'm that, sorry. man. What you did was wrong. And I admit it. And um, I, I have nothing to say to you, man. This is an embarrassment, for real. I'm done here. This dude is sick, bro. For him, it might not seem that I care, but I really do. Like, I really do, and I feel bad about myself every single day that I wake up. <laughs> so I'm not falling, standing if I thought I was with you. <sighs> this is crazy, bro. Cause you're not <sighs> an angel, even if you're close. This is so embarrassing, it's not even funny. I didn't mean to hurt him, you know? 
But I was going through so much at home, and the only reason that I did continue talking to Danny, like I wanted to stop at first, you know, but he was the type of person that he sat there, you know, and he listened. He listened and actually gave me advice and never tried to judge me. Obviously, he was a good person, you know, very religious, you know, and those words of inspiration that he used to tell me, you know, you know, really helped too. Everything that I said that, you know, that Rosa was going through, I really went through it, you know, as me, as Jose, you know. I told Danny, you know, that Rosa was sexually abused. I mean, it happened to me. I was in pain. I, to this day, I'm still in pain. I just try to find an escape. I try to find an escape to, through drugs. I used to do drugs heavy, you know, the only way that I stopped doing drugs, I got locked up. And that was the only thing that was helping me. I felt like being somebody else, being somebody that you're not, being somebody that you can actually talk to somebody and they can't judge you on your past because they don't know nothing about your past. All right, well, look, this is a distinctive moment for you. Because right now, when you look back at your life, a lot of it's the stuff that wasn't great. It's getting bullied in high school, it's getting addicted to drugs, it's going to jail. It's not the best past. And while it's not gonna go away, starting now, you can do it a little differently. Tomorrow, if you're up for it, and hopefully help you start that process of healing and turn that page and leave volume one of the life of Jose somewhere else and start, you know, volume two. Okay. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Like, thank you guys for real. All right. We'll check in with you later. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, man. Well, that was probably more than you bargained for. Uh, yeah. I just kind of like want to disappear from the world for a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, I know it's it's not fair because this is just as much your experience as it is his, but I think it's pretty obvious that this guy's had it pretty rough. You have every right to be mad and to not want to do anything more for this guy. But if you really wanted to be a hero, and go beyond, the one thing you could give him is to let him know this is not something you're gonna hold against him for the rest of your life. And that might lighten his burden a little more. <sighs> We've never had two hopeful hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.